hills or I'll blow it off. There's gold in them die hills. Hello, miners. Welcome back to Gold Rush the Game, where the drilling has been done on River... What's the name, What's the name of that claim? River Bend? River... River something. River Town. So the drilling's been done. I end up getting 1,100 ounces of gold off from just drilling, getting gold nuggets. I did spend some cash because, obviously, the drill bit twice uh, broke down on me. And the sad part is, the second drill bit broke down with, like, three more squares... To drill and I was like well I could care less I'll just drive the the drilling machine back and uh, send it back to the store but when the machines broke you can't drive it so I had to go spend five thousand dollars on a drill just to drill two more spots and be able to move it so oh I mean it's, I got 1100 ounces of gold out of it so we are here two days left to go in the summer it is close to seven o'clock so all we're going to do this evening is we're going to smelt the gold I'm going to have to smelt one gold bar and when I get that gold bar, I'm going to have to go to the, to the bank, cash that in, because I need more money to smell all this gold that we're going to do. And then what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade River Town, that claim. we got to upgrade it so we can get machinery on it. And then we're going to stop at the machinery store and transfer all the equipment from one claim to the other. But before I do that, I'm going to go back to uh, old Arnold's claim. We're going to make sure we take off all the hoses, all the electrical cords, all that stuff off before it gets transported because I don't want some glitch in the matrix to happen here at this point. So uh, we'll make sure everything's disconnected before it gets transported. Then we'll come back and transport it, actually. And then uh, when morning comes, we'll be back on River Town. River Town? Is that what it's called? Yeah, River Town. And we'll be uh, hooking up all the Tier 4 equipment. I thought about maybe buying some of the Tier 5 equipment first. And then setting it up. But you know what? We're going to think, I think we're just going to set up the entire Tier 4 setup over there. And uh, and see what we get for gold. And I will show you the drilling map in just a moment. But let's go ahead and get the process started here. Now let's go ahead and I don't have no magnetite. So I'll go ahead and 180 ounces of gold. It's going to cost me every time I do it $4,500. Smelt the gold please. Okay. Uh, it's going to take a few minutes here. Uh, about five minutes I think is what we're down to. So if we go to the gold map. Uh, this is Rivertown parcel right here. And you can see where all the gold is. Uh, it's kind of clustered, kind of in the center area. At first, I was like, wait a minute. Did I did the game not bug out and didn't drill, didn't count all these over here? Well, it certainly did because there are certain areas on the boundaries where you try to drill and the ground's not deep enough to drill. So you get these checking marks here. So all these gray spots, uh, yeah, not much gold in those gray spots. But once we get into the center area, we can see where, like this one right here, it's good gold everywhere, apparently. Uh, the rich spot is 100%. So there's a lot of rich spots here. Got to be careful how I dig the dirt and don't waste any. So definitely be probably just mining out this area right here and screwing the rest, basically, is what I'm thinking um, before we move on. But it's going to take us a while to get all that done and taken care of. So that's what the gold map looks like. Yeah, yeah, the blacksmith will get back to me shortly. So as you can see, that brought me down to $2,600. So yeah, the first gold bar, going to go to the bank, cash that in, come back, and then finish smelting off the rest of the gold. So I'm going to get all this gold smelted, get all the cash that we possibly can. We'll go back to old Arnold's. Uh, like I said, detach everything. I thought about buying a trailer to put the stuff in, but I think, you know, the trailer is only like four grand, but I, I just don't want to do it. I'm going to load up the pickup truck as best as I can with all the cords and hoses and small stuff first. And then we'll zip around to uh, the machine shop. Is it called the machine shop? And we'll check out uh, transporting things over and spending some cash because right now we can only have one machine on there at a time. And uh, yeah, we'll get along. But I'm going to get these gold bars smelted. So I'll see you back at Old Arnold's. How about that? Now that's a bank account I could be happy about. <laughs> one point. Well, it's one and a quarter million dollars in the bank account. Not too bad. Just a reminder, the next claim that we would purchase is $1.6 million, so we're kind of short on that. But that's not a big deal. So my job this evening is I got to take all these hoses and cords off. Um, probably pick up a lot of these buckets. I don't know if I can transport the hog pan mats with the miner's moss in them or not. But I'm going to be picking up a lot of this stuff. I may make a trip over back to Rivertown with a lot of the hoses and stuff. I'm probably going to make maybe two, two trips for sure. 
maybe three trips with the pickup truck and all the stuff and everything else should be transported via uh, transportation i don't know what's going to happen i do got some gold pay dirt in the wash plant i'm going to leave it there i hope i can transport it with pay dirt in it if it gets river town and the pay dirt's gone not a big deal we're probably talking about maybe three to six ounces of gold that's in here so i'm not gonna be too concerned about it uh currently but yep rest of my job for this evening pick up hoses cords wrap them on up stick everything i can in the pickup truck maybe make a trip over uh, i will make a trip over tonight for sure uh, and then uh, in the morning um pickup truck should be loaded we should be good to go we'll make a trip on over to the is that what it's called the machine shop is that what it's called uh what's that place called here it is called yeah the machine store machine shop whatever uh yeah so yeah i'm gonna get to picking some things up i'll see you in the morning and uh this will be a little bit cleaner around here at least About an hour later, three full trips over the pickup truck. We are just about ready to leave this site, hopefully for good. Um, but we never know. We might we might come back here. I did take all the mats and the grates out of these sluices here because I don't know if when they when they transport them are they going to disappear or whatnot. When I did the hog pans, I left the mats in it, lifted right up, and they stayed right in. Those are already over into Rivertown, but all the buckets, everything, cords, hoses, everything picked on up. Uh, I do got one more load in the pickup truck, but we'll be taking that with us in the morning. Don't worry about the uh, gold nuggetator. That will stay there. Uh, buckets great and, and moss mats are there. Uh, I think we got everything good to go. I think so. Um, even the spare parts. Uh, I got a couple of mats and uh, that's about it over in the storage. I, I think that's it. Even the trailers and everything are good to go. Uh, the one thing I'm going to do, because I haven't done this, I should have done this a while ago, is uh, do a save here because, oh man, if, if things were to go wrong, I just did all that work for nothing. All right, uh, everything is saved. Yep, let's go ahead. Now, the only thing I don't know is hopefully they'll transport it with dirt in it. I don't want to run the dirt through. I actually hope it kind of disappears, actually, because I kind of want to start with a fresh start, but if it does, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Uh, we're going to sleep right till dawn. Dun, da, dun, da, dun, da, dun, da, dun, dun. One more day. Uh, worker salary, 2300 That's right. i got to move the workers around. Process pay dirt. Earn gold. That seems a little low. Money spent on machinery rent. Uh, oh, that's right. Because I still got the dump truck. I still think it's rented. And I think the wheel loader is might be rented. I don't remember. Anyways, uh, let's go head on out of here with the pickup truck. And let's go spend some more cash onto the machinery store. Don't worry about the gold nugget tater. I'm actually... Uh, it must have a locking script into it when you put stuff in the back of the pickup truck. Because it's not going to go flying out. I remember in the early days, things would go flying out of the pickup truck. And you never knew where they went. Uh, sometimes they would respawn at your, at your par uh, parcel. Other times they would not. Don't need to strap the gold nuggetator in. We are good to go. But we got to go to the machine shop first because we got to upgrade how many machines we can have at Rivertown. And then they will transport everything over. I thought about, I said, geez, I could drive the dump truck 
over, I think. But I think what they did was, I noticed when I was going back and forth, the entrances to the lands, the parcels, are awfully narrow, so I don't think you can drive the dump trucks, excavators, uh, from one site to another. You gotta transport it. I did see on the tablet where I could unlock transportation, and all that really does from reading on it is, and it was gonna cost me five grand, something like that. I'm like, well, if I do that, does that mean that it uh, transports vehicles from one parcel to another free of charge? No, all that tablet does allows you to do it from your tent at your parcel. Uh, you're still going to get charged a transportation fee to move things around. Let's go ahead and put the parking brake on. I'll leave the engine running. We're fine. So while we're here, I did have a quick look a little while ago just to see what's going on for the Tier 5 stuff. So the Tier 5 stuff, this is the uh, the planters that we already got. The I think they'll be swapped out for the gravel pumps. You can see they're six hundred sixty thousand dollars a piece, or six sixty one. Uh, Glacier Creek, that's already I can't even afford that right now. That's one and a quarter million. Uh, I can't even afford that. I'm kind of curious exactly. I know what this is, um, but I'm not really sure how we're going to use it on the site. But that's eight hundred thirty two thousand for Frankenstein. Uh, this trauma we already have. We will be swapping out for the reinforced trauma, which is something I could afford. So there is all that. Um, if a deal ever comes up for the dump truck, I'll probably end up buying it because obviously we're going to use it all the time. But right now we're just leasing it because right now I do have the money for it. It's $120,000. I remember the first day that we played, the dump truck was on sale. It was on sale and it was going for like $79,000. Really ridiculous low amount. Now I just can't get a sale to go. So we got to come over here to the transport area. And right now, as I see on old Arnold parcels, we got three machines on the claim. So that's exactly what I need over at Rivertown. So if I upgrade it by one, it costs 20000 And upgrade again costs 30000 And we're going to keep it right there for now. Uh, no need to go any more than that. So let's go ahead, big excavator. Let's swap that over. Generator. Sluices. Sluices. Yeah, a lot of clicking here. I'm going to be kind of curious of how expensive this is going to be. Actually, there's not as much stuff as I thought there was going to be. So that's not too bad. To get everything moved over, $26,000. I say that now. In the beginning of the series, I would have cried. But now that I got a, you know, over a million dollars, I'm like, yeah, it's only $26,000. That's not a big deal. Uh, yeah, so everything from Old Arnold's to Rivertown. I think we're good to go. Move machines. Did, did it did it do it? Okay, probably just took a second to make sure everything spawned in, I guess. Not too sure. But we're about to go there and find out. And then the fun begins of... I, I'm kind of curious of how this is going to set up. Because the setup is going to be a little bit different. Um, I'm hoping that it's not going to be one of those things like, well, you can't use that old stuff at this site. You need to have Tier 5 stuff. Uh, then I may, cr may cry again. So I think last episode we kind of went one way and now this is the way we're going to be going quite a bit from our parcel to town. So yeah, we're going past the gas station, the bank, now the gas station. So this is kind of the quickest way to go as far as I can tell from the parcel to our town. Oh, I got diff lock still on. Yeah, I apologize. Now we should be fine because now we're going to be on dirt most of the way. Yeah, I didn't realize how much stuff I actually had to move. I, I think I said uh, before I started moving things, that's yeah, going to be about two pickup loads. Uh, it's four with everything that I had. And I think I got everything. I know diff lock is on an asphalt, but we're going right and over. I know there are fast travel points, but it's 20... I don't know if it's $20,000 to use it or $20,000 to unlock it. Then, it's, then once you unlock it, it's free... I'm guessing it's twenty thousand dollars to unlock it, then you can use it anytime you want. Um, I don't plan on using those. I mean, I got the cash. So that's not the thing. I, I just I rather drive around because not often you're driving back and forth uh, too much. It was kind of nice driving back and forth from Old Arnold's to Rivertown. 
uh, the other way that we went. Because at night time, if I can remember, I'm going to try to put it into the video. Uh, you can see one of my pickup loads going through. But when we go past the swamp here, you can he hear all the frogs uh, just singing away at night time. So, little things like that. I thought I could make it around that corner, but no. Um, but yeah, the ambient noises around here when you go past that was kind of nice. Uh, where am I going here? I just went right past my entryway. It's kind of funny. I didn't miss it at all at night time when, when I wasn't uh, showing it. But now that you're here, I'm missing the turn again. So you can see the narrow entryway into this claim here. I don't think the truck, the excavator, anything like that would fit on through. So I'm kind of curious how everything's going to be set up over here. Or at least where they placed it. And hopefully it's in an order in the way I would like to do it. So hopefully the first thing I want to put down is the uh, shaker deck or the rocker or whatever it's called. I want to put that down first. So hopefully it's it's accessible. Just trying to see, do they just place it any old where? Where is the... Uh, trying to back up here. Sorry, I'm just staring at all the uh, stuff that we had to see where it is. Oh, we got stuff over here too. Okay. All right. Uh, come on, pickup truck. You can make it. I'm going to drive over this. You can see the setup is going to be a little bit different. They won't be had an old Arnold. And you can see all the stuff I brought on over. So it's all here for the most part. So let's go ahead and just park the pickup truck here. Turn that off. All right. Uh, let's get some things moved out of the way. Now the wheel loader, the front loader. I don't know if I'll be using that because it brought the dirt over with it. <laughs> I forgot. I was down in the hole with it. And I couldn't get out. But it brought the dirt over. So I'm guessing everything else is going to have the dirt on it as well. So for now, we're just going to back this down. Down here for now. Just to get it out of the way. That's all we're really doing. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to put in is this right here. I think that's going to be the key for sure. Uh, okay, so the excavator. Um, where is the fuel? Is that the fuel right there? Uh, I think the excavator is getting kind of low on fuel. And since we're right over here, we're going to go ahead and top that off with some fuel. So let's jump into here. And where is the fuel cap on this thing? I have no idea. But now the fun begins. Setting this all up. Uh, that's the generator. Oh, wait a minute. I was driving over to the generator. Where is... Oh, it's way over there. Okay. I see it now. I see it now. So you can see the fuel gauge on here is kind of low. We're not going to run out in the next five minutes or anything like that, but since we're going to be doing a lot of work, I don't want to just forget about it and run out of fuel. And while that's fueling up, I'm going to go grab some five meter cables. I think we're going to do the five meter cables on here. And like I said, we're going to get the shaker deck set up first. Where is the nozzle on this thing? Uh, not this side, so that means it's going to be back here, of course. So I pull up to the wrong part of the fuel tank. And like I said, don't remember where the gas goes into this, or the diesel, I should say. Uh, 
give me a sign where you go. Up here, will it reach? There we go. All right, well, that's feeling up. I'm going to get some five meter cables and put them over here by, oh, where our planter kind of fell over. Uh, put them over here by this D rocker. And that is going to go somewhere here. I assume it's going to go right here. Yeah, and that's where the uh, uh, the ladder, I don't know where the ladder goes. I'm, I'm naming everything wrong. I'm pretty sure I am. Tank is refueled, good to go. All right, uh, let's see. These should be all my, f oh, everything kind of fell over a little bit. That's all right. All right, let me get this set up and I'll start hooking up the uh, D-Rocker and we'll start putting that into place because it's a mess around here. You got to start getting some things put away. So uh, we got moved to room, move that, uh, yeah. <laughs> room to move around on. Need to be an acrobat to hook these things up and jump up and around. All right. Five meter cables are long enough to do this, I hope. Uh, they already hooked on up. And I should be able to lift this right on up. Be gentle with it. Well, I'm glad I didn't use the sevens. All right. And now driving mode. And piece number one. Is not quite there because I'm a little bit, I'm closer than I thought I was going to be. Alright, there is step number one. Where is the ladder? Way the heck over there. I mean, this is not a bad process. This is going to take a while because the excavator is not a speed demon. Let's see. My approach is probably going to be the same. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave the excavator as is as at the 90 degree angle here. Although getting up on the side I want to get on is going to be... No, wait a minute. I do want to get on the other side. Yeah, I do want to be on the other side. Right, let me get this squared away here. And here we go to where the tracks, for some reason, we just can't go. I don't know if it's the horsepower going uphill on the, on the excavator. I had the same problem with the drill every once in a while to where you just, even though it looked like you're on even land, you just weren't going anywhere. This is going to take a minute. Another piece in. Now it's got to find. Oh, right where we were, right next to the dump truck. Right where we dumped the dirt in. We'll put that in next. And then it'll be a sluice, then a trommel. Step by step.
I think it's facing the wrong way. Son of a... I would say it's not too bad, about an hour in, and this is the last piece here for the wash plant. I think I did it the same as I did last time. I did it all correct except for the sluice box that goes from um, the wash, uh, well, the, the, the rocker down to the trommel. I forgot that one again, but it snuck in there. I did snap the cable, one cable trying to get in there, and I did find the cable back again, so overall not too bad that is placed and the only thing I need to move now with the excavator is the generator I want to hold off onto that just for now I want to take a break from the generator if it wants to back up or not I don't know most of the time it uh, the track equipment on here goes pretty good then occasionally we go over some kind of terrain and it just bogs it down and you're looking at it it's like why would that bog it down you can't quite see why would it bog it down but it does so now things are starting to come together here. Uh, the fuel tanker uh, storage area is over there. That will be moved. Nothing that needs to be moved right away. I'm probably going to get that full of fuel as well. Get an order of fuel in because we got the cash. So we're probably going to start spending some cash here. Uh, we're also going to get the water tower up and going today. I don't know if I'll get it filling up, but, um, but at least it'll be, at least it'll be up. And you know what? Let's let's do that first. Let's do that now. Because after all that hard work, I want to I wanna have some fun here. I want to see what this entails, too. I don't know if this is going to go up. Do I have to go buy parts? Or or what's the deal here? Um, this is the water tower, right? I can... Oh, there we go. Use. Uh, 150,000. Buy. Oh, it just assembles it. Okay, so <laughs> I was like, um, am I going to get parts? Or what's the deal here? All right. Uh, so we got in and out. It's all good. All right, but we got some more things to do here. Uh, I am seeing that the dirt did uh, get brought over from the other uh, parcel, but that, that's fine here. All right, let's go ahead and grab, before we do anything else, let's go ahead and grab one of these. And run on down here and see where this gets to be placed. I think it's going to be at a 90 degree angle other than at the other one where it just came straight out. Uh, 
There's one. And then it's got to figure out where I want to put the generator and uh, the water pump and all that. So the dump truck's going to come up to here and unload and go from there. So what I'm going to try to do is get all the hoses. Uh, maybe we'll put the generator like right over in here. That may work. Along with the water pump. That way we won't be running over our hoses. But we still got more to set up. Uh, from my, I, I kind of seen a video about the water tower. And how that kind of works. We're going to need that definitely for the tier 5 wash plant. Okay, so there's that. And I think we're going to have the same kind of setup with the wash table. Uh, the magnetite separator and uh, the gold nugget hater down there. It's time to give the generator a home as well. Oh. The, the tree. Really, a tree just made my cable snap. Alright, well, that's the second time I snapped a cable doing this. Hopefully I can find the 5 meter cable. Not, I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but I would like to find it because they are reusable, oddly enough. The trees, man. The trees always seem to get me. If I can get this thing to stop swinging around, that'd be good as well. Now, I had an idea of actually putting this generator up on the platform right there where I guess if you didn't have the system like we have, you can. that's where the dump truck would drive right up and unload into there. But I think I'm going to go ahead and put it right over into here. If I can get the generator, like I said, to stop swinging... I have one less cable holding it as well, so that's not a good thing. Nope, oh, right there. Perfect. That swung just just right for me. That's exactly kind of right where I want it. Almost parallel to here, because obviously we're going to be digging over there. Our dump truck's going to come over here, swing around, back up. Uh, generator's going to be right here, which is perfect. I don't really need it much closer than that. Let's get up here and... Oop, uh, my bucket's in the way. Uh, can I move the bucket? I can't swing the excavator because I'm hitting a tree. Oh, there's a ladder on this side. I knew that. I knew that. All right, we'll just let these dangle for now. I still got to move the fuel container somewhere else. But right now, I just want to get the excavator out of the way. Let's not hit my camper, because that's where I sleep. All right, the excavator's just going to go here for now. And turn off the engine. Uh, let's come over here and quickly look for the cable. I see it. Perfect. I don't know why when the cable snaps it's not damaged and not reusable. I have no idea. We're going to put that right there for now. Let's turn off my light. Alright, so there is our generator. So now the fun begins of grabbing some cords. I don't really like having the big space right there underneath the, that part of the generator, but it is what it is. Uh, let's go ahead and this will plug into here. And I'm going to run around like this. Come around here. Number one done. We're rocking and rolling now. Now I'm going to have a lot more cords left over because I had extras from the other place as well. Just make sure we get everything plugged in that we need to be plugged in. I think it's going to be a little bit neater this, neater this way, I hope. Man, yeah, still got a lot more stuff to put together. Definitely not going to be doing a clean out today. <laughs> That's for darn sure. Alright, the plug is here. Yeah, we're not going to have long cords going everywhere. At least right now we're not. Okay, so I need one now for the trommel. And the other one's for um, the 
the water pump. Now this is the only thing I, I didn't, when I was putting in the trommel, I was trying to put it so the cord went on this side. Unfortunately, the cord goes on this side here. I'm trying to figure out a way to run this to where it goes underneath the trommel. Can I do that? Bear attacked the claim and broke the cable. I just flipping moved here. Are you kidding me? The cable's not even... Well, remember how I said I got a spare? Oh, oh, oh. I need to use it. Alright, so if I can do this... All right, what I want to do, can I just, like, drop it? And can I... trying to see where it is. I'm trying to grab it from down here. I don't think if I go, if I go up and over the trommel, that's just going to lay over the top of the trommel. That's not going to work. Is that what it's going to do? Or is it going to actually go underneath? And I fell down. Oh man, this, now this line's going to be so long. Ooh, those are so close to each other. Can I? I can't get through there. All right, let's... Uh... Oh, good. So it looks like the cable actually went underneath. All right, so if I can just get my way out of here. I am crouched and I can't get through there. Uh, who thought of this? All right, I'm gonna have to put this like right there. Um, <laughs> I can't get out. Uh, this is ridiculous. Can I get out here? Are you kidding me? All right, uh, teleport to a vehicle. That, that'll work. <laughs> so don't fall down in there. Uh, where are we here? Okay, I... I Alright, here we are. Alright, so don't fall down in between the uh, the Durockers. Alright, let's grab that. And can I jump up here now? Okay, let's reel in some of this cable, because now it's... Don't you dare fall down there. Okay, so is that actually underneath... That's where the cable broke when I was putting in the uh, the sluice. Now what am I stuck on here? All right, so the cable goes under. It goes under well enough. Oh, wow. Can I just... All right. I think we're free. I think we're free. All right. Um, yeah, so where's this cable now? Yeah, let's go ahead and detach the cable. Haven't been here more than an hour, and a bear decided to come attack my cable. We're just trying to get set up, make it look nice and nice and neat. And no, you got to come along and with your big bare teeth. All right, this stuff here I'm piling up needs to go over there. So let's grab this and we'll hook this up again. I mean, don't they know I got a lot more things still to hook up? All right, there's that. Now, the question is, where do I want to put the water pump? I think the water pump up here would be good. Uh, let's drive the pickup truck down below and then empty out all this stuff here. Because that's where it needs to go, mostly. grab our buckets here let's hopefully they all fit where they need to fit I would assume they would all 
And I definitely got to set up this a little bit better down here with the wash table, the magnetite separator, and a gold nuggetator. Right now they're just down here to get it roughly where they need to be. And... Oh, you know what? We'll just put one there like that. Uh, the rest of the buckets can just be tossed out here for now. Although one bucket does need to go right up here. And right now the rest of the buckets can just be tossed. Like this. All right, let's get the mats in, the grates in. And then it'll be time to start hooking up some water. If I can put any of these mats in, that'd be great. Oh, I got a crotch down, huh? All right. Well, so far I'm trying to figure out this wash plant setup. So in order to get up to these sluices here, I got it on this side here. I got pretty much got to walk kind of around. On the other setup, we had like a ladder on each side of it. But now I'm going to walk around this side and that side. i got to walk on that side, which is the same as the other wash plant. And as we just found out a little while ago, you don't want to fall between those two because you can't get out. So the situation I kind of got going on here is I do have a helper. And they're working that sluice over there. I'm not going to be able to go in there and grab those. I'm going to have to go up the ladder and grab them, I guess. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Now, these moss mats here are a little bit dirty because they're from the other clean out. And I want to put those over there. I mean, I guess I can just hop up here and grab those anyways. Not that big of a deal. I'm just trying to figure out if I want to move them over to the other side, the worker, just because it'll be easier. I don't know, maybe I'll just leave it as for now and just, oh no. No, 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 no. I mean, did you guys even, do I have to crouch? Can I get out this way if I crouch? Oh, okay. Don't know why I didn't see that last time. But what do you expect? I've been recording now for two and a half hours for this episode, so getting a little tired. And we're still not done yet. Getting close, though. Getting real close. But now at least the back of the truck is pretty much unloaded. I better make sure I put my spare tire back in there. There we go. Spare tire back in here, please. Yep, so it is a little messy here, but uh, we'll get it figured out here. I don't know, wave table, I, I don't know. It's not much of a flat area here. Maybe what we'll do is... I mean, the gold nuggetator should be down here because I got to put the mats into the gold nuggetator, but I guess the wash table and the magnetite separator, maybe we'll put it up here where it's more flat I'll have to think about it have to think about that one in, in, in a little while in between episodes and let's back up we're going to grab the water pump I want to get this all set up before the bear attacks again Hopefully I can see the hitch of the water pump. I may have gotten a little bit too close for comfort. I did. Gosh darn it. Still, okay, <laughs> now I can see it, but I'm not, all right. 
gonna be one of those right there should be good I think please and why why does this have to be so so difficult you know you just want to hit the gas a, a very little bit and the, then the truck takes right off why won't that turn I actually need to be back there or maybe I need to be lined up oh. definitely getting tired when it takes it that long to hook up the water pump to the back of the truck I'm just saying all right let's go put this I think we're gonna go put it up here on the little flat I think that's probably the best place for it <laughs> I'm in the cables on the excavator and it actually hooked up onto the truck. Um, I'm actually having second thoughts about this. Let's see, if I run the water to there, that's fine. Then all the water hoses is going to go down to there. But then I would like to run water hoses over to the water tower. I need to move the excavator. I think we'll put the water pump there for now and see how it looks. If I were to hook up to the, to the water tower. And before I forget, I want to put this down. Because I had my cable over here. Right underneath the bucket of the boom, did I not? Yes, I did. Just hitch that up for now, please. Nope, let go. Uh, you want to reverse. Hard to back up the water pump when it keeps getting hitched onto the ground and rotating on its own. So you know what? Just going to man, man it up up there. Just, just push it up. That's what we're going to do. Eventually I'll get it to where I want it to be. I wish I could lift things up like a kind of farming simulator. Alright, I think I've had enough. Uh, I'm not going to try to put it up there. Let's see here. Different plan of attack. Alright, yeah, I think I got it. I think I know what I want to do. I think I know what I want to do. I want to put it on this side, actually. right there that's even better I think all right turn that off all right now I just need another 240 volt cord I think it's a 240 volt Take up our last plug here. Bring this to here because we got an electric water pump. All right, now either one of these are the same. And in. And then you're going to run.
right over to here. To here. Is that the deep spot? I forgot where the deep spot was. Uh, since I can't climb this and see the other side. Uh, it could be there. But we'll see if that works there. And we'll grab this one here. And for now, I'm not going to go up to the water tank yet. We're just going to go ahead and... I said... Hitch to that. And then that is going to hitch on up to... Uh, I'll put that there. I need this right here. Hitch that to that. And now I need the red hose without the filter on it. So these should be fine. Then this hooks to that, and then this hooks to this. All right, there's our wash plant. Now I need this thing here. Um, but I don't know where I'm going to put it up, put it on yet. That's the thing, right? Because I don't know where I want my wave table. Uh, so I need... I need two hoses to go into the hog pans. All right, let's try putting this. Can I can I can I rotate that in my hand? So, way to rotate things in your hand. Aha. Put that Okay, then you're just going to fall down that far. All right, that, that's okay. Be that way. Um, now, that is powered by the gas water pump. So... I kind of want to put this right here next to the other water pump. Actually, you know what? That is going to go up here. That's going to go right there. That way, when I, when I turn things off, I'll turn that off and that'll be right there. This may get moved around. I can tell I'm not thinking correctly for the most part. Not that I usually am anyways. Let's uh, see. This needs to go into here. And then we're just going to follow you. Follow the blue pipe. So that just... Hopefully that, that one's in, in the ground. Alright, now I need the other red hose. Originally when I was starting to plan this episode a little while ago... I was thinking, oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna set up the wash plan. We're gonna do a clean up to see exactly how much gold we get out of uh, of the river town. I did not want you to land in there. I wanted you to land on the ground. I'm hoping I can
pick you up like that. Bring it on through. And get stuck. Doesn't quite reach. I like how it's rolling down on its own. Trying to hide the hoses as best I can here. Okay, as long as the hose is not... Yeah. It is kind of clipping through there. I may go fix these later on, but not right now. I'm not going to. Uh, what am I doing next? Garden hoses. It's going to be a long episode, I think. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, where are we here? We got to go down to here. To here. And then you need to go to... You need to go to that. And then the same process, this one needs to go to the other hog pan. And I think, which I can't really do at the current stage, but I think that'll be our wash plant ready to go. And I can't really stand on the sail, apparently. Okay, down to here. Um... Nope, curl up that hose. Nope. Right, let's, uh... What, what are you doing, hose? Darn buckets. Really? And that one just... I'm trying to get it so I can reach. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you know what I'm trying to do. Uh it's just, it, because it's going to lay right over the hog pan. That's going to annoy the heck out of me. Let's see what that does. I mean, it's it's not the best, but it, it's it's okay. Uh, yeah, you got. I, I, what a mess! What a mess! All right, so we got our hog pans. The mats are in. We got our garden hoses hooked up to it, which go up to that splitter, which go to the gas water pump. So that should be good to go. Uh, we, oh, we need cords for electrical cords for these. This is why you got to double check things. I don't need that electrical splitter, I don't believe. Now the question is, oh, why did you place it up there? I was crouched in everything. All right, it kind of, uh, all right, you know what? I'm not going to try to get too fancy now. Maybe at a later date, but at this point, let's just get it in there. Maybe someday when I go to clean this up in another, between, not between this episode and next episode, because I'm going to be kind of anxious to get a clean out going. Let's just run it on down to here. Yeah, I'm not going to like the way this is going to look for sure. Alright, so we got electricity to there. Uh, I think we're all good. Well, the one way to really find out if everything's working good is hit the power button. Okay, so we got 
power here is taking dirt. We got electricity and we got water going to the shaker deck. We got dirt coming out of there. We already got 5% dirt in the mats. Um, oh, you have not turned on the gas water pump. That, that'd be helpful. Uh, and can I see the numbers from up here? Uh, let's just jump on down. Is it showing the hot pans actually going down? Boy, this is a mess down here. Well, the mats are filling up. And the dirt is finally getting washed out of there quick enough. So there we have it. The tier four wash plant is here on Rivertown. Um, yeah, this is just a total mess down here. I'm not really sure how we're going to do it yet. The gold nugget tailor needs to be down here for sure. Uh, can I pick that up, please? Why can't? Oh, you know why I can't pick it up because I got a bucket there. Let's go ahead and put this. I want to be like on flat ground if I can. Yeah, that, that will that will work, right? Although I got that backwards. I want that to be. I think I can. Yeah, I put it the same way that it was. Um, that that's brilliant. Uh, let's. Uh, uh, There we go. I can reach the start button and the garden hose will go there. And a bucket will go like so. And we know I need two buckets for that on each clean out. So we'll just throw one there. Uh, the wave table. Uh... It's not really any flat areas to work on, is there? Is there another port for... a garden hose to go on here? I don't know. Like I said, I'll have to think about it. But the good news is, everything seems to be up and running. Let's go ahead and turn everything off because I'm not just running water through a plant and no dirt going through it. But I think I need I need to call it because it's <laughs> I've been recording way too long. Uh, for the little amount of dirt I had in there, it seemed like it uh, the the pay dirt is piling up really nicely here. Just remember that that is from the old Arnold's claim that dirt. Uh, we'll have to go ahead and make sure when we start digging over here that we dig in the good areas, as I showed at the beginning of the episode, which seems like ages ago when I said that. But, yeah, it's kind of like in the center of, of the claim of where all the good dirt is. On the outside of the claim, it's like total trash. The good news is the water, the hoses down here are in deep enough water, so we're good enough there. Uh, what we're probably going to do, maybe not in the first clean out, but, um, yeah, I'm going to hook up the water hose. Basically, I'll have to detach it from here and run a blue hose all the way up to here and then run a blue hose back on out to the wash plant now from my understanding what i read a lot and this is going back when the tier five came out and i read about it is basically you better have water in this water tower to run the tier five plant for a couple of hours uh, what you got to do is just let your pump run forever and keep the pump going and you actually have two blue hoses coming out of here going to a tier five wash plant because that's how much water it requires so that's why there's three outputs here um and too bad there's not two well there's two inlets here so you could hook up 
like a, the blue hose and then I could run like the portable water pump and help that fill up as well and keep that going. But it takes a long time to fill up. Now I do believe, uh, not used, but I think I can, I can pay to have water fill, uh, yeah, so I can, I can pay how to fill this up. It would cost me 10,000. That's not that bad, really. Um, seeing how much you may get from gold. Uh, but it's going to be kind of... I want to get that nice and full. Because if we ever do get a drought and the river runs dry, at least we'll have some water uh, for us. Um, but I may not do that in the first clean out, whatever. Um, because we've got, we, we got to get our feet wet here. Feet wet, water. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's like I said, I'm tired. So, <laughs> I can can I jump up here, please? Yeah, so everything's looking good. Um, I do need to get some fuel. I do want to move the 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 gas tank, the diesel tank. I, I have seen this done before, and I may do it myself. Uh, you To save yourself space, you put the diesel uh, tank on top of the generator. I may do that, may not do that, or I may just plop it down somewhere. Looks like we got plenty of room. I got to do some picking some stuff up here. Got some more buckets. Uh, right now, this is not all extra stuff. I got a couple things here we do need to use. Uh, this is a generator. Seven meter cables. With an extra five meter cable. Connector. Extender. Gas cans. And some electrical wire because we know the bears love us already. Been here a whopping five minutes and he chewed a cord. But anyways... We are finally over here at Rivertown. We are all set up. We are ready to run if need be. Uh, I probably, I may, I may dibble with the cords a little bit. I got to find a way, a better way to run the wave table and the magnetite separator. I think the gold nuggetator is in a decent spot. So I'll do a little bit of thinking about it, but it's not that flat in here. I mean, I could, I could just put them right here. I could. I may rerun the hoses and everything, but it's something to think about. At least we're started. And this is bugging me because it's tipped on its side. So I'm going to put this over here. But anyways, that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the long episode. I'm sure it's going to be. I do appreciate you watching as always. I'll catch you again right back here in Rivertown in Gold Rush. But until then, have a good one.